Mmm. 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 Spicy. Sit down and be humble for those who are not. Yeah. You never know right. when whatever it is that you are not humble about can be taken away. Yeah. And you're back to square one or lower. That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We're going to eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, nah, this ain't no clickbait. Hey guys. Hey guys, it's Steph. And Tasha, and we are back with another video. Before we get into the video, I want to ask you guys to please thumbs this video up if you like it. Share, comment, and subscribe. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So today, you guys, we are doing an egg roll and spicy ramen mukbang. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll let you know everything that we have here when we get into the video. You ready to eat? Yeah. Then let's get into the video. Okay, guys, we're back. So what we have, we have veggie egg rolls, we have um, grilled chicken spring rolls. Mm -hmm. She has a spicy, what's the This is the Indomie Goreng noodles. I don't know how to pronounce it, so excuse me. And mine is spicy gin ramen. Mm -hmm. So we both have our favorites. We have um, red hot. We have red hot chili sauce. That's the peanut sauce. That peanut sauce with, I'm not. That came with the spring rolls. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll try them. And then. It's just a spicy. Red chili sauce. So probably that garlic I love chili that. sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then this is kind of like the, um, like that. Okay. The spicy. Mm -hmm. um, that came from the rest Sweet and spicy, yeah. Yeah. So let's dig in. Let's dig in. I want to try this first because yes. I've never had it. And I'm going to try the I peanut sauce. I've been going to try this for so long, you guys. What kind of paper is this, rice? Yeah. I'm going to try it with no sauce first. So this is what, how it looks inside, you guys. It has mm -hmm. lettuce, carrots, Cucumber, a lot of fresh ingredients, and then we have grilled chicken in ours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Like a mochi. Like a salad. <laughs> For real? Yeah. I'm gonna try it with the peanut. Look at you guys. It's peanuts. There are peanuts in it too. I've never tried this. I've always ran away from peanut sauce, but whatever. This wrapper, I don't know. It's too chewy to me. It's interesting. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Glad I got trying it out there. I don't know if everybody's wrapper is real chewy like that, but that I don't like. Let's pour our drink, but okay. Yeah. This is a veggie egg roll. I think you already said that. Can you dip it. Nice. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Woo! Yummy. Mmm. Spicy. Mmm. These aren't spicy enough for me, so I decided <laughs> to cook it in cayenne pepper and water. It's definitely spicy enough now. You got it? You yeah. got the heat you wanted? I got the heat I wanted. A little bit more than I wanted. But, <laughs> hey, that's life. Hmm. Mm. Very good. You don't even need meat. I'm very picky when it comes to egg rolls, y'all. It's kind of sweet, too. Those are good. How is this? I'm scared. I do not like peanut butter stuff, y'all. Yeah. Or peanut flavored things. They have a bunch of peanuts in it, too. Mm -hmm. I just like peanut butter. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. I said it was interesting. No. You don't want to dip anything in that. You taste it by itself. It's so thick. Like, I've tasted peanut. Like vinaigrette or something that was thin that I liked. Mm -hmm. But that is just like peanut butter. 
Yeah. I like my peanut butter with bread. Right. Not really anything else, but. Doesn't Pad Thai have peanut butter? Or, or just peanuts? It has peanuts. And a sweet flavor, but I, to me it's not like peanut butter. Mm. Okay, I can't get my noodles. I don't like a lot of water, so mine are just stuck <laughs> together. Mm. Yummy. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat this, those so that ain't ramen. Because the way they look. Mm -hmm. Not good, the way they could taste. Mm -mm. Yeah, they don't good. even taste bad. They're just. Tastes like a salad with no dressing and some chewy thing on the outside that I don't want. <laughs> y'all know. I like almost everything we eat, y'all. Okay? I'm gonna try it with this. Mm -hmm. These egg rolls are good though. And this ramen, delicious. Yes. I'm sorry y'all, mine is not ramen. I was corrected before. Call it Indomie just noodles? or Indomie. They're just noodles, they're not ramen. Try some different. Try a little sweeten. It's not sweet and sour. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Mm -hmm. Some kind of sweet sauce. Woo! Thank you to everybody who joined our live last night. <laughs> and uh, we yeah. apologize to anybody who was offended, sad by <clears> our <throat> fake breakup. Oh, we were just kidding. First of all, wasn't nobody trying to click clickbait. It was totally a joke, you guys. Um. We expected that the normal people that come into our life would come there and would be like, y'all stupid. But instead, we got immediately about six or seven hundred people. Now, we normally get like, what, 200? Immediately. So a lot of people were interested in our breakup. Okay, you guys? A lot of people were mad saying we could clickbait and all that, but it weren't clickbait. Not a lot of people. Some people were mad and said that we clickbaited. Um, and I'm not, we're not saying that you all came for that reason, but I mean, yeah, you did, but not because yay, they broke up, but oh my God, they broke up, you know, and, um, a lot of you stayed though, which was nice because I'm glad that you guys got a chance to get to know us. Exactly. Um, so, so it was kind of a win for everybody, mm -hmm. especially the people that, that ended up staying and learned more about us and we learned more about you. Hopefully you come to our lives again. Yeah. You guys, we would never um, um, display our breakup on um, YouTube. We would never, we will never come out with a we broke up video. I don't have a heart to do that. I don't think I would do it. I mean, we have to at some point let them know we broke up. We just never come back. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's yeah. true. Just come back with our own channel. Like, hey, guys. But so. just a note on the clickbait thing um, for lives. Okay. It doesn't do anything for us to do a fake clickbait. You know what I mean? We don't get any money off of lives. So yeah, that was the point that it was we not were trying to get views. Yeah, it, <laughs> was, it wasn't a clickbait. It was a joke, like a prank, let's say. A live doesn't give you the views or anything that you don't get paid for a live video. So unless people donate. Right. So it wasn't for views or for anything like that, you guys. It was just a joke. It was had a spontaneous song. joke. So yeah. Excited to do. Mm hmm And I'm still glad we did. Because like I said, we got to look. No, Me a lot too. more people. Because when people clickbait, people get mad, but they still come back. Yeah, and overall, that, that video got... Now, we go private immediately after um, posting our lives. So it didn't get any extra views, but right after the live, it had already got like 7,200 views. Yeah. That's insane for our lives. Like, yeah. I think usually we might have like 2,000. Yeah. So, yeah. So, y'all, y'all kind of met me, y'all. Now, I don't know. I know a lot of people were concerned, but I know a lot of people was like, ooh, let me get the scuba. What happened? Mm hmm. You know. And also, I think that in lives, 
other people come in, maybe people that are not subscribed. I'm gonna eat this because my mouth is burning. Yeah. Let me try that hot stuff. That's hot. I'm just tired. I'm having to do this. You must have put like two tablespoons or something. Hot. I'm definitely gonna lose 50 pounds. Supposedly, capsaicin and cayenne pepper makes you lose weight. Hmm. Can I have some of your Coke? I think I need some. Let me get you some. I mean, you, you down drawers pretty fast, so I'm gonna go ahead and get you some water so that you won't drink up all my Coke. You can put it in here, baby. You want Coke? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, that is hot. Woo! Babe, uh -huh. you can make a spicy noodle challenge with that stuff. Right. It's pretty hot. My lips are burning. But, oh, we should do a spicy noodle challenge with Rhonda on uh, Friday, but put add some shit to hers. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'm not doing a spicy noodle challenge with Stephanie, Rhonda. Mm -hmm. I won't do a spicy noodle challenge with Jesus. I don't care how much I would like to meet him. Well, I don't want to meet him yet, but y'all know what I'm saying. I will not do another spicy noodle challenge. Ooh, you done, baby? No. You bought some mala noodles. Aren't those supposed to be super hot? Are they supposed to be four times, right? Yeah, I don't know. That's so crazy, y'all. I don't know why I bought them either. I looked at them the other day and I was like, I ain't getting this. <laughs> I should have cooked those for you. Mm -mm. Oh, and trick me? Mm -hmm. No. I should gonna be on fire, y'all. No, it's not. My <laughs> stomach and that whole area is strong. For real? Yeah. So when we do those such things, they, they, your butt don't be burning? No. Mine does. Whew. It does? Mm hmm Nah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Everything's burning. From my throat my all the way down to my stomach. I wonder what the difference right, is between dead. ramen and noodles. I have no idea. They look the same. Right. I have no clue. They look the same, dry and wet. But there's a difference. We don't have a topic today, you guys, because this was a spontaneous mukbang. We had a lot going on today, so we didn't have time. <clears throat> I was trying to think, was there anything that people were saying in the live that maybe we could talk about? Yeah. Someone got offended yesterday in the live. I do apologize for her being offended. Um, she kind of said that we were making it out to seem like she was crazy. She called in and we had her on live. She knew she was going to be on live. She was just asking for some suggestions. Um, <laughs> and Which I thought was fine. I didn't see anything wrong with anything that she said at all. Mm -hmm. um, it just took a little bit longer. And I think we did give some suggestions of what, on her issue. We gave suggestions. Mm -hmm. She talked for quite a while and you know, we had other people that wanted to call. Right. So I did tell her that she could hit us up on a DM. I tried, I, we sat for a minute and then um, finally it was like, okay, it's about time, you know, to be considered other people, we gotta let her go. Right. So I was like, you know what? Hit us up on DM, Facebook or Instagram and we will talk to you more because we would. So she was like, okay, we got off the phone. And it was just the, the, the thing was that she just kept calling back. So people formed their own opinion about, uh, and she said that he kind of blamed us in a sense because first of all, a lot of people are adults that come to our live. Most of them are. So we can't stop people from feeling the way that they feel about anything. People are going to feel however they feel. Even if we agree or disagree, it does not matter. Um, we're on a live platform and it's live. I mean, <laughs> we deleted it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Because, okay, she did say something about us making faces. Now, I know I did. Yeah, I did. Not because I was making fun of you or that you were crazy. It was just that you took a long time. So I'm like, you know, hurry up. Yeah. Now, I'm a silly person. I do this to Tasha all the time. Yeah. You see me in the videos. I'll be like, I love my wife, okay? <laughs> so, you know, we, me, my friends, family, we all make fun of each other. I was not doing that to say anything was wrong with you personally. I was just like, woo, you know. She's been long, long winded, y'all. That is true. Like, let's get get through this. That is true. You know, but I wasn't trying to make fun of her. Yeah, I agree. So I'm sorry if you interpreted it that way, or if anybody else thought I was doing that in the live. Yeah. And like, you know, maybe I fueled something by that, but I didn't mean that. I mean it about her personally. Okay. You know. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. But I personally don't think you're crazy. Right. Um, I don't know you, um, at all. I just feel like that. I just feel that. Um, when you call a person many, many times back to back, 
that's a bit aggressive and inconsiderate. Um, so that was my only issue, you know, with you. I, I just. I just didn't feel like you I think she called. really, really, really wanted to clear her name because she I think really got offended by what the people were saying. Yeah. So that's why. We apologize. No hard feelings. Yeah. If you're still here, you may have unsubscribed. Hopefully not. Yeah, but y'all, please don't take anything that we do <clears throat> in a silly manner, personally. And I, one other thing I want to say. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to cut you off. But we are not perfect either. I'm going to say not that. Perfect. We're not perfect. We might... You, someone might irritate us and we might let you know and that's just life. That's just the way it is. Am I going to tell your business? No. Am I going to do this? Am I going to do that? No. But if you irritate me, and I'm not talking about her because she didn't irritate me. If you irritate me, I might let you know and you might unsubscribe and that's fine. We're not perfect. Nobody is. That's true. And I don't think we should try to be perfect. Y'all. No. Okay. Uh-uh. Yeah, y'all see me in the live, y'all. I be doing a little bit too much sometimes. The most. Okay. But that's my real feelings and my real reaction. And I still love everybody. That's just how I am. But I'm going to let you know mm -hmm. how I feel. Okay? Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like in our lives, we're more, not to say that we're not ourselves here, but in our lives, we can more let loose. And we're not doing just eating, you know, and having a conversation about a specific topic. In our lives, it's just no holes barred. We talking to y'all, so we're answering your questions. We asking you questions. We're just having fun. Mm -hmm. So anything can happen in that live. Anything, okay, can happen in that live. Uh, so make sure you have your post on Yeah, I don't see some hookups in the live. Right. Okay? Oh, yeah. Okay? Good luck to you guys. Um, right. But, yeah, make sure you have your post notifications set to all so you don't miss any of our live streams, you guys. Daily uploads or... Last premieres. One. Premieres. We need to do a premiere. Yeah. We haven't done one in a while. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so other than that, y'all, what I what else I wanna say? We love you guys. Sit down and be humble for those who are not. Cool. Um Yeah, I wanna say that too. <laughs> Please be humble. Cause always. Yeah. Cause you never know, all. you never know when you can when whatever it is that you are not humble about can be taken away. Yeah. And you're back to square one or lower. We were talking about you got, yeah. we were talking about homeless people and how, why we are compassionate like we are because we're like anytime we that could that could have been me you know what I'm saying yeah. and it still can mm -hmm. at any time so yeah 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 that's it um, a lot of people change um, when they they get money or when they become famous or when they get a new job you know and they feel like oh you know I'm this or whatever the case is a lot of people change. And I feel like if you change because of that, you were never a real oh, person right. to begin with. Or the real self is coming out. Oh, why wouldn't you be your real self regardless? They could have been humbled by the fact that they didn't have stuff at that time, but then as soon as they got something, it's like, oh. bow to my feet. Right. Okay. Yeah. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, a lot of people say, oh, Tasha and Stephanie don't change. We'll never change. Um, no money is going to make us change. And I'm going right. to be honest 100% with y'all. Money any extra money or you know excess money that comes in our hands is going to somebody else's and ours we're gonna keep it in ours too but it's definitely going to somebody else's we don't have we're not you already know we're not big spenders exactly. so our shit is about helping people exactly. do we want to help ourselves absolutely right but do we want to help other people yeah hell yeah yeah almost more than myself because i mean i want to have necessities and have a good have fun but i don't need a whole bunch of lavish stuff i'm gonna tell you, you know what i mean what do you want like all that's, I want is a house that's paid for, mm -hmm. and um, we don't even have cars. cars that are paid. We don't even have to have two yeah, cars. One car. We only need one car. We have two, but we only really need we one car. We only really need one car. Actually, no, the two is fine because Elijah can get the car. Okay. But, and to be secure for the rest of my life, right. I would like to travel at least once a year, mm -hmm. and that's the only thing I really, really want to be right. comfortable yeah. and then to know that we can have that for Elijah when we're not here anymore. Exactly. Something yeah, that happens you know, like. Uh, college and a nice yeah. savings for him when he is able to get on his own. Yeah, you know I, that's what I think about a lot. Um, other than that, that's it. I think I want to travel more than once a year though. I want to just travel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A yeah. lot. So that's why I don't even need a lot at the house really. We can travel around travel California. Like, what about if we got like a um a trailer and like tour the U.S.? I, would love I to can do that. As I long as we're not getting in a plane, I can do that. That yeah. would be wonderful. So I think I want a trailer. That's something that I want. Cause I want to drive around, yeah. do road trips and stuff. But y'all ain't never gonna see us walking around here. And nothing wrong with it if you do. But I'm just saying, 
I'm not wearing Gucci now. Right. I'm not gonna be wearing Gucci if our YouTube channel blows up and I'm making all this money. Ain't gonna be no Gucci. I'm not spending eight hundred dollars on a T-shirt or some some Nike, right. some Gucci slides. No offense. <laughs> right. I'll I mean, thirty dollar Nike. Y'all might see me with a Gucci watch, y'all, because I love watches. Oh, she so. has one of the Gucci, but she's one. I've she always wanted yeah. a Gucci watch. Yeah. And so. I could have gotten her a Gucci watch, but I am very frugal and so is she. So right. I think when we went yeah, out, I could have been at the Gucci. She was like, mm. but every time I go to get it, I'm like, oh no, you that's the price. Too much. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> But yeah, yeah but I, you would not see 13 Gucci watches, 17 purses, no. uh, a, a Maybach, and a Tesla. You ain't gonna see that. I don't even know what a Maybach looks like. You would not see I, that. I know it's expensive. Because I would good. rather spend our money helping other people. The, yeah. the excess money. Yeah. You know, I do want a Tesla, I'm not gonna lie, but I'll never get one. Yeah. I would never buy one. The most expensive sports car I'm gonna get is a Camaro. Okay? And that's, I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. I because never understood I the Camaro. whole car thing because I feel like, unless you're in your car a lot. Yeah, so I, 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 I don't drive that much, so I guess it doesn't make sense for me to have a, a big sense of car. Some people love cars, though, you yeah. know, especially men, I think, and boys, yeah. you know, they have raised playing with cars, so right. I think they have a fascination with cars, so yeah. it's not, kind of something different. But what them. about, okay, so yeah, you get your cool car. What about the people who have like seven, eight cars? That's that's what's so ridiculous. I, I don't know. Why not they, have one car, and when that's you're tired of that car, sell that one and get a different one. Not have seven or eight cars yeah, I don't know. just sitting in there collecting dust. That doesn't make sense. That's like a slap in the face of people that can't afford to eat and stuff. I feel you just like, got 17 cars? Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like it's cool, but I, I mean, it, I feel like if you're helping somebody, you don't have, you know, no one is obligated to help anybody. That's true. You can be a billionaire and everybody else is poor and you are not obligated to help anyone. That's true. But how many friends can you say you have at the end of the day or people that love you at the end of the day or people that's going to be at your funeral? And not because you have money. And not because you have right. money. If you don't, I think Cam it. camera cut off, guys. So if you don't show compassion or love for other people, that's what I'm saying. How many people are gonna be there? Not that I, I don't give a. Sh I wouldn't care who was at my funeral because I'm already gone. I don't even know if you're there or not. Right. But the point is, what am I leaving on this world? Wh who am I? Who have I touched? Right. Since I've been here, and who can, whose life has been enhanced because mm -hmm. of because of what I did or what I helped them with. Right. And when you show people are influenced by other people, when yes. you show generosity, generosity, generosity. Kind, kindness, compassion. Compassion to everybody. I'm drunk off noodles. Okay. Other people get inspired by that. Yes. So if you are doing old, showing, doing the flossy thing, not helping other people, think that everything is about money, that, that influences other people too. Yep. You know, yep. and the younger generation, yep. they're going to strive for that when they look at you and they idolize you. Yep. And they say, oh, well, when I get to the top, I'm not going to help anybody because exactly. nobody helped me get here. Right. <laughs> Why do you want to do that to somebody else? Mm -hmm. You uh, Imagine how hard it was for you to get where you are. How, and how, how much you had to struggle like I can think about how much I had to struggle when I was young Like I said I moved out of my parents. I mean, I didn't move out anyway I wasn't living with my family anymore when I was 17 years old. I was on my own and I struggled I struggled a lot. I would never want somebody to go through what I went through If I saw a 17 year old that didn't have anybody to have her back and help her I would help her I would, I would want to help her because I would want to see her grow faster than she would doing it by herself. You got to struggle and hustle and do all this stuff for years when somebody could have just came in and said, look, let me put you in school. Let me do this for you. And, yeah. and let's, yeah, that's what a lot of people need. Just yeah. a little bit of help. Yeah. And that's what, that's what I want to do. I know Tasha does it. So anyway, you guys, we're going to get out of this because we can talk about this for hours. Hours okay. upon hours. <laughs> okay. This is all we talk about right here together, yeah. which is all the time. But when we are talking to each other, this is all we talk about. We ain't just saying this shit to make y'all feel yeah. any kind of way because we don't care. Right. Uh, this is who we are. And I think that everybody should feel some this way somewhat, basically. Right. Um, I'm going to Stephanie keep looking at me and I keep talking. Yeah. And another thing. You okay? Yes, I do. Yeah. So I'm done, y'all. I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, it. guys. Give the video a thumbs up if you guys like it. Comment, subscribe, and share. Please turn your post notifications on so you don't miss any of our live streams. We already said that. So what? Okay. I'm saying it again. All right. Oh, premiere. Matter of fact, if you're still here, put two blue hearts in the comments so we can know it's real, y'all. Two blue hearts. All our VIPs are still here. We love you guys so much. Thank you for still supporting here. us every day. I ain't talking good. All of our VIPs that still here. Yo. It's all good, y'all. You interrupted me. We should go live. Thank you guys for supporting us every single day, watching our videos all the way through, and not clicking off of the 
damn ads, y'all. Look at this beautiful. We need that. Face. We need that. Okay, so. She's so beautiful. Me. Look at this. Okay. All right, guys, y'all. We, we love y'all. Life. Until next time. Oh, only good vibes. Peace.